Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Guys, today we're going to be talking about two new artifact sets that will be coming in the new Genshin 1.5 update. Which artifact sets are we talking about here? We're talking about, of course, the Pale Flame set as well as the Tenacity of the Millilith set. Why am I excited for these two sets? Let's just talk about that real quick. So the first set we're going to be talking about is the Pale Flame set. Why I'm excited for this is because... It should be the best in slot set for Yula, which is a character I'm really excited for and I cannot wait to use. And I'm just going to talk about some of the stuff the set does and why it's going to be really exciting for, you know, for Yula, for me, and why you should be interested as well. So what this set does is it increases physical damage bonus in a way that we haven't seen before. Um, so the Bloodstain set, what it did, it only increased physical damage bonus for the two set. For this new set, the, you know, the Pale Flame set, it does the same thing for the two set bonus. Physical damage bonus is increased by 25% for the two piece. If you have four on, you know, in the same set, you can also get a 100% increase if you stack the effect for two times. If you have both of these effects, you're... 2 set effect is increased by 100%. I'm not sure how good this is, if it's additive or if it's multiplied. Both would be pretty good either way and would be better than the Bloodstained set anyways. So let's just talk about that real quick. Why it would be good for Eula. Eula's a Cryo Claymore da like damage dealer. Um, I don't see her being very good in burst damage, not yet at least. Unless her alt is like, what, 40 energy or costs only 40 energy. That'd be pretty crazy. And she could just alt spam the entire time. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. But I'm not quite sure how that would work. Anyways. Yula would be really good with the set anyways. Because her physical damage would probably be a crazy amount. Probably be a lot. So, with that being said... This set on Yula would just be absolutely perfect and I cannot wait to use it. So, what about the tenacity of the middle lit, Mars? What about it? Is, it? is it any good? Can I use it on Zhang Li? And yeah, sure. I don't see why you wouldn't use this set on Zhang Li. This set is pretty good in two aspects. Zhang Li scales off of HP for his shield, which is going to make it pretty good. And, not to mention, the two-piece bonus for this set is HP bonus. You get 20% more HP if you have the two-piece. But, if you have the four-piece, I'm pretty sure you'll be like, Oh, yeah, this is definitely Zhongli material. But I'm not really sure how much better this is than just your average Archaic Petra. So, the four-piece bonus, when an elemental skill hits an opponent, the attack of all nearby party members is increased by 20%, and their shield strength is increased by 30% for only 3 seconds. This effect can be triggered once every half second. I'm not sure how good this is, but that sounds pretty good for Zhongli to me. Anyways, this effect can still be triggered even when the character who is using this artifact set is not on the field. I have a lot of questions for this for other units, such as Chi Chi, or maybe a Barbara elemental skill. I'm not sure how good that is. Anyways, we're just going to be talking about Chi Chi and Zhongli here. Chi Chi, when she uses her elemental skill, which applies. Chi Chi, when she uses her elemental skill, which applies cryo damage, her, her, you know, her aura hits, will those trigger the effect for the set? I think so. I'm pretty sure that would trigger the effect. For Zhang Li, after putting down his 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 wall or the pillar, do you get the effect? If it, it does, it auto apply whenever the aura comes out. I don't think so, but if it does, this set is absolutely broken for Zhang Li, and I cannot wait to see how people use it. I myself. I don't think I would use it just because my Zhang Li would already have a good set, for example, Archaic Petra and maybe a Noblesse set. I, 
because I want him to do damage. You know, I want him to do a lot of damage, not just be a good shield. Because his shield is already pretty good. I don't think I would need to even improve his shield. An 18% damage bonus is alright, you know, or a shield 30% extra. That's really good if I need more shield. But at this point, you don't really want more shield. I don't think you would. There is no end game boss that's so difficult that you need that much of a shield. His normal shield is already pretty good. After the buff, it's even better. And I just don't see a need for you to have that much shield. Anyways, it could be better. I'm going to see some testing from other people. You guys could do that as well. But that's my two cents. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like as well if you did enjoy. And see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.